Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Thilo. In this tutorial we will have a look at the Orion control panel. Before we start to have a look at the Orion control panel itself, we want to talk about the configuration and the connection of the Orion with the PC. In this tutorial the Orion is connected via Ethernet with the PC. To establish an Ethernet communication between the Orion and the PC, we need to take care about that both need to work in the same IP address range and needs a unique IP address. By default, the matrix interfaces are working in the 10.x.x.x point X, point X IP address range. That means the PC needs also be set to this IP address range but with a unique IP address. Now let us start. To open the control panel of the Orion, we use our desired web browser and call the web user interface via typing the Orion IP address as address of the browser. You will find the IP address of the Orion on the right side of the Orion interface itself. After typing the IP address and pressing enter, you will see the web user interface of the Orion. On top of the user interface you will find some device settings so you can change the name and also the short name. By default the short name is always the IP address and also the name of the Orion is called Matrix Orion. In the next section the network address here you can change the IP address to your desired IP address and of course also the subnet mask. But please pay attention if you will change the IP address of an Orion and you don't know where you have set the IP address you won't get access to it because after setting the IP address it will be called with this IP address. At the input pin configuration we have to set up our measure function. Here are different measure functions available. Disable of course disables this pin and for instance you will use analog between limits if you are working with a resistor or with a potentiometer. Digital for instance you can use if you are working with a trigger or a switch. Of course you can measure pin voltage or the external pin voltage and so on. A detailed explanation about all these functions you will find in the user manual. On the section right beside the measure function you can define in which range the analog input signal is received. Zero is the lowest one so for the minimum value of course you can change this in one voltage steps between zero and 12 volt or in percent steps 10, 25 and so on. And also for the maximum you can give the maximum value what should be measured. This is important when you are using it as analog or digital input and you won't measure between 0 and 12 volt. Maybe you have connected only a 5 volt power supply so you can limit it to 5 volt and that means the 5 volt is your maximum now. After changing any settings please click set in the desired section. In the DMX channel configuration you can configure how the output should send the DMX data to your connected controller. For every pin you can set the desired DMX channel and also if it should be an 8-bit channel or a 16-bit channel and an inverted channel is also possible. 
Also, on the very right columns, you can set up the valid DMX values. So, for the minimum value, that means, for instance, if the contact is opened, you can set a value between 0 and 255 and also the maximum value. That means the value if the contact is closed, for instance, and again between 0 and 255. At the last configuration section, you can configure how the data should be sent in the network. So you can set up the universe. By default, it is set to the universe 256, but you can change it to every valid ARTNET or streaming ACN universe. Also, you can set up send full frames. That means not only this eight channels will be sent, it will send the full DMX universe. That means 512 channels. Of course, the channels which are not used will be sent with the value zero. By default, the Orion is set to ARTNET broadcast, but you can change it to unicast and then you will need to type in your desired IP address. For instance, 10.005 and click set to accept this IP address in unicast mode or you're using streaming AZN in multicast mode. Below all the settings section, you will be able to reboot the system and to reset it to factory default settings. Some information about the Orion are visible in the device information. That's it about this overview about the Orion control panel. See you in one of our next tutorials.